is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're gonna be talking about terrifier 3 in this video here again today we're gonna be going over some of what you can expect from sienna in the upcoming third installment in the terrifier series i guess franchise if you will uh we know it's being directed by damien leone once again lauren lavera we know it's going to be returning as the character of sienna that she starred as in the sequel that came out last year no 2022 and yeah she's returning to play sienna again in the third film which is slated to begin shooting later this month in new jersey i think but i'm going to recap the new characters first before diving into what you can expect allegedly for sienna in the upcoming film so we know that it would appear according to the casting call that is out there for you to see that sienna and jonathan are now living with their aunt and uncle as well as their cousins or a cousin who looks up to sienna very greatly or is very fond of sienna if you will so you have gabby who is 12 to 15 years old she's a young sassy girl full of life uh she's curious about the world beyond her peaceful suburban life she is sienna and jonathan's cousin and again she idolizes sienna like the big sister she never had then you have jessica who is the mother to this girl gabby she is jonathan and sienna's aunt she's smart stable and empathetic with the heart of a fighter but unlike her late sister barbara she has a gentle soul and she's the wife to the next character we're going to talk about greg so greg is jonathan and sienna's uncle he is in his early 50s late 40s he's everyone's favorite uncle type of guy he's a solid loving provider for his wife jessica and daughter gabby he's the cool dad he's a well-kept man with a strong athletic physique then you have these other characters cole and me i'm not going to go over their bits but i want to talk about what lauren lavera had to say about her return as sienna before i dive into what you can expect so this was in one of the articles that dropped in december of last year i believe or late november she said i'm thrilled to be returning to terrifier 3 damien's vision for my character was special and now he's set to take it to an entirely new level it's been surreal to witness the immense connection and support from fans for sienna and i applaud damien for introducing a strong female character the angel dress heroine who gets to face off against art the clowns in merciless ways i can't wait for you to see the next chapter of sienna as damien dives deeper into her backstory now i don't know how exactly this will correlate to anything with this character's backstory but allegedly sienna will be dealing with ptsd during terrifier 3 i know surprise surprise it's not really that shocking so i would compare this to maybe we're getting some laurie strode rob zombies halloween 2 type of stuff maybe not as extreme but you get me her uncle greg actually finds her to be a danger her uncle greg finds sienna to be a danger or liability to their household and is very concerned about how close gabby is getting with sienna since gabby follows her around like a puppy dog and sienna has some sort of mental breakdown or episode during this film allegedly that seems to be why greg is concerned in the first place greg seems to be taking the phil from child's play 2 approach if you recall how phil was uncertain if he was qualified to handle andy's trauma during child's play 2 well it seems uncle greg does that same thing during terrifier 3 and questions if he and his wife jessica fully understand how those events impact the sienna granted though unlike greg see jessica her aunt is not going to give up on sienna and wants to have the girl around she's not going to give up on her niece sienna apparently also is allegedly very medicated per the doctor's orders and keeps a diary now where she's journaling stuff i'm assuming these have to be nightmares because i don't recall her having a journal in the last film but anyway this diary includes her recounting a dream i would assume of her being chained in a dark place as it's described some type of crypt she describes and it would appear there's some type of confrontation that happens between her and gabby over gabby's discovery of this journal so that's what sienna is dealing with during terrifier 3 some sort of ptsd she has an uncle who doesn't want her around an aunt who is really holding on to hope regarding her 
rehabilitation not that she's had some sort of some sort of drug addiction or anything but you know she's she's had an she apparently has an episode some type of mental breakdown during the film and she's medicated per doctor's orders that's what cn is dealing with ptsd that's really all i wanted to talk about what do you guys think about that are you really shocked i don't think anyone is shocked that they are taking this approach with the character because it feels like a natural next thing to do after you've gone through something so traumatic like what she went through during terrifier 2 we also know apparently of course jonathan will be away at college from the time jump descriptions that we've heard about given that jonathan is in college now and he wasn't in college during terrifier 2 and in fact wasn't this boy in middle school so the fact that they're talking about a college setting in this casting call makes it seem like there's definitely a significant time jump that's happening if we're going to college i don't know if anything with that christmas teaser we got when terrifier 2 had its re-release even correlates to the story i would assume it doesn't and I think it's more so a teaser in the vein of that Jack in the Box teaser that's so iconic to Child's Play 2. The Jack in the Box had no significance during Child's Play 2, but it's a very iconic teaser that exists to promote the movie. Sorry, Jack, Chucky's back. I think, obviously, 100% it's going to be set at Christmas, but I don't think we're going to see Art the Clown butcher this little girl that everybody assumes he's going to do based off of that teaser i think the teaser has nothing to do with the overall film but maybe I, that'll be proven wrong as we learn more again production is supposed to start later this month out in new jersey at the end of january but again those are the alleged details none of this is confirmed until it comes from the reputable trades of course but i 100 percent already know that this stuff is true it's just not going to come out until it's not going to come out as official until the reputable trades start talking about it or until Damien Leone or Lauren Lavara start acknowledging this. But yeah, that's what CNN is dealing with in Terrifier 3. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Do you like this? Do you not like this? What else do you hope goes down in Terrifier 3? Do you not care? <laughs> why or why not? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video